what's up? Welcome back to a new video. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Chris. Nice to meet you. It's really early in the morning, so don't mind my crusty face. I haven't even brushed my teeth. I still have leftover drying lotion, so I might look patchy, but um, yeah, I probably won't get better than that. But today's gonna be a pretty simple video. I just wanted to show you how I apply MSM cream in the mornings and how I incorporate it with rosehip oil and my regular tinted moisturizer to get on with my day. So let's just jump right to it. The first thing that I'm gonna do is clearly brush my teeth. You know, I get up in the morning, I make my bed, I cook breakfast, I eat, and then I like to uh, get on with my skincare because, I don't know how to explain it, I just like to start my day with a fresh face. And I feel like when I'm cooking, like making eggs or sausages, whatever, I feel like that heat and that grease just kind of sticks on to my skin. I don't know, I'm weird. So I like to do all my skincare right after I am pretty awake. Does that make sense? Whatever. Am I the only one that feels super awkward brushing their teeth in front of people? But yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to film myself in front of thousands of people. You probably don't understand crap I'm saying. But hey, it doesn't get more real than this. I'm here to show you the good, the bad, the unedited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair back because Lord knows I can't have soggy hair throughout the day. Pretty sure I'm not the only one that gets triggered and if you're a boy, then lucky you! Okay. Um, now, to wash my face, I like to use African raw soap. It looks like a little piece of turd, but it's magic turd, I promise. African soap does tend to strip your face just a little bit, so it's perfect for those of us who have oily skin. I personally have combination skin. Nobody cares! I like to be very gentle with my skin in the mornings because you don't really have a lot of built up dirt if you wash your face the night before. So once my face is washed, one thing that I am very OCD about is using a clean paper towel. I know that the towel is meant to be clean if you're washing yourself properly, but I don't know. I just really like to use a clean paper towel. Fan it dry. The moment I wash my face, I feel like a new person. Like I'm ready to take on the day. There's some people who are really lucky out there that don't have to wash their face in the morning, so you just splash water. Yeah, I'm not one of those. Okay, so the first thing that I use is a clean swipe, swap, whatever you call this. And I like to go in with my toner. I use tires, I've talked about this before. This is pretty cheap. By the way, guys, everything I'm using is under $10. I don't use anything above $10. And it's not because I'm cheap, it's because I don't feel like there's a need to waste a lot of money on skincare, you know? No need to be rough on your skin, you just woke up. I do like to go um, behind my ears and under my neck and on my chest because I got pimples on my chest too, I know. Hey, hey baby, I'm filming. Oh, oh, okay, baby, well, I love you. I love you, text me. Oh, baby, all right, to you. Bye, cookie. <laughs> Bye. Anyways, so I fan my face again. I like to let all my products sink in. I take so long to get ready in the mornings because I'm very anal about all my products sinking in. I don't like mixing them on top of each other. So once my face is toned, then I go in with my moisturizer. You can use whatever moisturizer you like. I've been using Acne.org's moisturizer for years. I'm talking about five years plus and I'm running out. Like I'm out. Like if I was to pump this, nothing comes out. Oh, you like to make me look bad. Yeah. This is the moment where I incorporate the rosehip oil. I like to apply the rosehip oil before I go in with the MSM cream because the MSM cream is a lot thicker and I like for the rosehip oil to penetrate, if that makes sense. I add a little bit, one, two, oh, that was a lot. Okay, yeah, that's probably all I need. And since I still have acne, I like to go with tea tree oil and I apply um, one to two, three drops, whatever. That was a lot too. I'm just, I'm extra today. I mix those in together and I gently apply them on my skin. I'm looking at myself in the camera right now and I look like a crazy person. Tired of YouTube people looking all perfect and stuff. Like we're not, you know, we're real people watching this. So I'm not trying to look perfect. I'm trying to look like me. I feel like at least someone will appreciate it. So once that is all soaked in, my oils are applied. I go back and I fend myself because like I said, I like to have my products soaked in. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but I'm not having a good week with my skin. I'm getting a couple pimples here in my neck, which is not normal for me. I mean, I can get them in my chest and, you know, right here, but I don't really get them on my neck, so I don't know what's going on. The tea tree oil and MSM cream have been helping me maintain the inflammation down, so even though I am getting pimples, they're going away pretty fast. My acne is more like a gut acne and hormonal. It's not for lack of hygiene. I'm very careful with what I put on my skin, so it's not because of the products that I'm using or not using. It's a gut problem, so I'm still going to get them regardless. But, you know, MSM cream and rosehip oil and tea tree oil have been helping me a lot at keeping the inflammation at bay so it's not as red and they go by really fast. So once that is all soaked up, that's when MSM comes in. So I've talked about MSM cream a lot before but for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos, the one that I use is from At Last Naturals. It's MSM cream with vitamin E and I get this in Amazon. There are a whole bunch of other brands that you're more than welcome to use but I like to use this one because I saw that it's targeted you know mainly for the face it's technically a moisturizer and the other ones that I saw said joint pain and joint relief and to apply the MSM cream I just go in with my clean fingers and I don't really need to use a lot like that looks like a lot but it really isn't it's like less than a quarter size amount and I dab it on my chin my nose, my cheeks, and since I've been getting pimples on my neck, then I'm gonna go ahead and do that too, and a little bit on my chest. So very gently, I apply it all over my skin. This is a freaking pimple I got there. I'm telling you, the dairy is freaking killing me. I've been eating a lot more fruits lately, and a lot more beans and foods high on antioxidants. I also um, been drinking apple cider vinegar in the mornings with a little bit of raw honey. It's meant to clean up your gut and help with inflammation so hopefully that will help out. By the way, I only use MSM cream in the mornings. I was doing some research and it seems that it's perfectly fine to apply it twice a day but I use Mederma at night and I don't want to overlap my products too much. But if I do decide to apply it twice a day, I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you guys updated. MSM cream has really helped my hyperpigmentation and it has helped with my uneven skin tone. But uh, it's definitely not the only thing that I do for my skin and for my scars. I like to dermal roll and I like to exfoliate on a weekly basis. I feel like the type of scars that I have don't go away simply with a topical treatment. They have to be shedded and dermal rolled so that I can penetrate and stimulate my skin and my collagen to rebuild. So for those of you guys who are interested in using MSM cream, keep in mind that it's not the only thing that you need to do to improve your scars. I know right now my skin is not at its best. It's purely on me. I've been eating, like I said, like a junkie and it's just all coming out through my pores. I'm one of those people that is affected by their gut and if you're not, then it got bless you right now these all are brand new pimples like I got them less than a week ago which is why I'm saying I am having a bad week so it's a poor example but it's the truth it's what's happening right now within my skin so why hide it I want to be able to show that a lot of people are going through the same thing that you're probably going through just because some people put makeup on it and make it seem like it's all good it's not be patient with your skin it will heal the more you stress it the more pimples you're gonna get so once my skin is all soaked up that's when I go ahead and I use my tinted moisturizer the one that I use is a pretty simple one it's from Maybelline is a BB fresh cream and all I do is pretty much that's it that's all I use I don't like to use makeup um, to be honest I just don't know how to use makeup <laughs> It's not because I don't want to, it's mainly because I don't know. And also because I'm scared. I'm straight up scared of using makeup. It's different for some people because some people have it way worse than I do. So, I, I mean, off, go for it. If you know how to do your makeup and you want to cover it up, then do it, girl. But I feel so awkward and so weird when I wear a full face of foundation and contour and all that stuff and I love it I love how it looks on other people but it's just one of those things that hasn't grown to me yet but that's pretty much the tea so as you can see this tinted moisturizer pretty much goes on very smoothly even on top of MSM cream so I'm sure that if you were to use foundation it would be as 
good. MSM cream is meant to be very hydrating and um, it definitely does that. So towards the end of the day, like after eight hours of having it on, you know, by the time that I get home, I do have like kind of like a glow slash sweaty look, but <laughs> that's because I kind of have combination skin. So some areas are dry, some areas are oily and um, yeah. All right guys, that's pretty much everything I have for you guys today. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you doing <laughs> and yeah I guess that's pretty much it until next time guys oh you want to say hi Godita My goodness I think you're a good like 20 pounds right now <laughs> say hi to everybody Please subscribe to my mom she really really loves talking to you guys <laughs> <laughs>